Hello guys and welcome to all those training to become Super Saiyans. This is Revolution. So on this video we're going to be discussing why Gohan wears glasses and how does it affect his battle skills. Now in the Dragon Ball community lately I've seen a lot of people say well how can Gohan fight people at super fast speeds if he can't even see what's right in front of him? And you know what it is a valid question but there is an answer to this conundrum and I'm going to go in depth about what that answer is in this video. So not just in Dragon Ball Super but the other continuation of Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, it has depicted Gohan continuing in his life wearing glasses. Now a lot of people refer to this Gohan as Nerd Gohan. I'm not saying you're a nerd for wearing glasses. I myself am short-sighted and need to wear glasses from time to time. Gohan wearing glasses seems to be synonymous with this Nerd Gohan image. Now the question keeps being touted, how can Gohan possibly see these faster than light characters that he's fighting if he needs glasses to read a book or just in everyday life but then when he fights against these super powered characters he doesn't seem to need them anymore. Well, to answer this question, we need to refer to the key energy sources that these characters use as their main source of power. Now, in Dragon Ball, the characters can sense other beings' key signatures. So not only can they follow their key signature, they know when this key signature is either getting further away from them or getting closer to them or powering up or powering down. Luckily for us, quite recently, we've had the perfect example of this not just with any character, but Gohan himself. Now, in the preliminaries to the Tournament of Power, when Gohan took on Lavender from Universe 9, Gohan did not wear glasses for his fight. Now, in this fight, Lavender poisons Gohan to the point he loses his eyesight, and Gohan is getting beat up on until Gohan widens the range of his key, his very own key signature, so that when Lavender enters Gohan's key, Gohan can sense where he is. Now Goku couldn't sense the Trio de Danger's energy, so imagine if Gohan could sense the opponent. Now this is prior to Gohan refinding his ultimate form, so this isn't the strong Gohan we know in the Tournament of Power. This is still the weak version of Gohan that we've become synonymous with in Dragon Ball Super up till recently. But this was a very good strategic move by Gohan and it turned the tide in his favour. Once this happened, Gohan started to win the fight. He didn't need his eyesight, he could just sense when Lavender was attacking him. Now obviously that, that fight went on to become a draw at the dismay of most of us because clearly Gohan actually won the fight but anyway it was touted as a draw. But the reason Gohan lost was because as the fight wore on Gohan was more and more affected by the poison. So basically what I'm saying is Gohan does not need sight to be able to fight these faster than light characters. He can sense them. Now I'm not saying that the characters should go into every fight being blinded. Obviously having eyesight as well only enhances your ability to locate where the opponent is. And obviously a clever opponent would learn to mask their energy themselves and find a way of attacking from multiple sides or just use multiple key blasts. Obviously this is where eyesight comes into play but it isn't needed to win a one-on-one -on -one battle if the opponent isn't smart enough to mask his own key. Whilst that answers the question as to why Gohan can fight without glasses, not just to mention the fact that his glasses would probably incinerate due to his own key, but what does Gohan actually need glasses for? Is he far-sighted? Is he short-sighted? Well, we haven't actually had any statements in the show itself or from any of the creators or Akira Toriyama himself. So I'm basically going to base this on what we have seen from Gohan in the series and what we basically know about him. So basically we know that Gohan loves to study and has his head in the books and we often see him reading quite a lot. So I'm going to say that Gohan has hyperopia. What is hyperopia, also known as farsightedness? Well, hyperopia is a common type of refractive error where distant objects may be seen more clearly than objects that are near. So basically, you can see things in the distance more clearly than things directly in front of you. In studies by eye doctors, they have found that deprivation of peripheral vision, when you read, your eye turns in and your central vision is stimulated 
and peripheral vision deprived, causing axial elongation of the eye. Given what we know about Gohan, scientific studies heavily support the fact that Gohan is farsighted. So it might be in Gohan's best interest when fighting a foe that he fights them at distance, if he wants to fight at maximum potential. And this is why Gohan needs glasses. Once again, it has never been stated in the show. It's not in any official guidebook and Toriyama has never mentioned it in an interview. But going on what we know of the character with the scientific support, then I think we can come to a conclusion. It could be debunked at any point during the show, you never know. But for now, I think it is a good answer. Anyway guys, just to let you know, next week I'm going to be on holiday in the north of Africa. I'm going to be in Morocco with my lovely wife. However, if you enjoy my channel at least, there is nothing to fear. I have made some videos ready to be released next week, so make sure you stay tuned to my channel. I hope you enjoy those videos and I wish you a great day. If you like my videos, make sure you smash that like button with a big bang attack. If you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. This channel is growing very quickly. The feedback has been awesome. So get involved in the revolution. Check out my library if you want to see some more videos of mine. There is plenty of content there. I have a very diverse collection of videos and topics on Dragon Ball. And remember one very important final message. If you stay calm in any vexing situation, you will never, e -e -e ever become a Super Saiyan. Make sure you click that subscribe button to make sure you get all my latest content straight to your account as soon as it's released. And here are some more videos from my library, which I'm sure you will all enjoy.